Welcome back to John's Music. In today's video, we are checking out a powered speaker which can be a great use for your house parties, karaoke, cafe use as well as live sound management. We have the Studio Master Drive 15 AU for a review today. Let's check it out. So before we get into the product specifications, there is some discussion that we need to do about Studio Master. Studio Master UK has been a brand since 1976. A lot of products under the name Studio Master has been selling in India since quite a few years. However, Studio Master UK has been the one that has been around for since a very long time, since 1976. And that I can say has been the original brand. While both the brand names are same, they are not really related and even the product line is not same. So Studio Master UK is what we have on our website. So before you make a Studio Master purchase, it is important for you to inquire whether it's Studio Master India or Studio Master UK. We hope that this confusion gets solved because there was another company doing by the name Studio Master already. Initially, Studio Master had launched their products by the name of Carlsbro. So if you see a Carlsbro product, even that is under the Studio Master category. But other than that, it has to be noted that Carlsbro products are Studio Master products too. The products also look exactly same, just the brand name was different a while ago. Now Studio Master has officially come out in India as Studio Master UK. We hope that this confusion of Studio Master India and Studio Master UK gets solved with the ongoing disputes getting solved legally. So now getting into Studio Master Drive series. So the Drive series comes in four options. One is the Drive 10 AU. 12 AU, 15 AU and the Drive 15 Sub. So the difference is in size mainly. The driver size, this what we have over here is 15 inches. You also get this in 12 inch and 10 inch and you get a subwoofer as well, which is a 15 inch subwoofer. All of these speakers are powered speakers or as you can call it active speakers. So now getting into how the speaker is built, built very robust, very good cabinet, a very heavy duty metal grill as well. It's got handles on both the sides and even the top. So it's even easy for two people to carry it. For example, the 15 inch speaker is 22 kgs. So two people might be required for this to carry. It is very easy to be carried by one person as well. Uh, so carrying wise, these three handles are really helpful. Other than that, we see vents over here. There are four vents and we have the highs here. The speaker has also got five M10 hanging points. So if you want to hang it in a cafe or even a auditorium, you can do that as well. There is a green light over here which switches on when the speaker is on. So that is a good indication from the front if your speaker is on or off. So now it's time to check out the back panel. So here we have the back panel of the Studio Master Drive 15 AU. A very simple unit and this panel looks same across all the three sizes. Uh, starting with the power button, we have a robust power button and your standard power cable as well. And now coming into the, the main features of this. So starting with one of the most important thing, the Studio Master Drive series has Bluetooth. That means you can connect your mobile phones, laptop and play it wirelessly. Other than that, you can put a pen drive for music playback, which supports uh, formats like WMA and MP3, or else you can even put an SD card to play music. So this becomes particularly very useful for any cafes or restaurants who just want some background music and wants to plug in a pen drive and just leave a background music going on so that their customers do not feel an emptiness in the restaurant. Speaking about the controls, we have a standard equalization of lows, mids and highs that you can uh, always tune it as per your taste. So coming to your inputs and outputs, we have a combo input over here, which can connect your standard XLR cable. It locks in very well. And if you want to release it, you press the button and you release the cable. It can also connect your standard jack. So that means this input can be used also as a mic input. You can use it for a PA speaker. You can use it for an instrument, for example, a keyboard, drums or guitar as well. You can plug it in directly and play. As per output, we have a link output, which means your standard female XLR can go into it and you'll get to pair other speakers. So coming to the tiny button over here, this is your input level. So if you're using a mic directly into the speaker, you need to press this so that you can get a good gain from the mic. And if you are connecting a mixer, for example, and using this as a PA speaker, you need to release this or else it will be too much gain that can damage your speaker. Now coming to the other controls, here is the mic gain. That means if you connect the mic directly over here, you can use this and control the gain. And this becomes your master level that controls the volume for your mic as well as any of the other things connected uh, to your speaker. 
Other than that, we also have a standard EQ with your lows, mids and highs. We generally keep it on the center if you're connecting it as a PA speaker. Uh, if you want a little bass boost, you can do that. So this EQ becomes important if you are connecting a mic over here directly. But if you're using it as a PA speaker, it's ideal that you keep it flat and do all the controls from your mixer. Now coming to your audio control unit, here we have mode, play, pause, stop, repeat. This is your forward reverse button or, or else it can also be used as your volume buttons. So when we click mode, here we have your music mode. Uh, if you connect your pen drive directly, it will play music directly. So suppose you need to connect your Bluetooth, you need to press the next button. So your Bluetooth function is active now and you need to press play so that it starts searching. So now it's written BT not linked. So now it's trying to connect to a phone. So you can go to your phone, do a pair new device. And if it's now there is a device over here that shows Bluetooth. Just click that and we can click pair again and your Bluetooth is connected. So the device shows over here. So the device already is connected over here and you can control the volume from your phone just like how you do for your standard Bluetooth speakers. So now we are playing a simple video, a video that was on our channel. We are increasing the volume and it is happening. So that was the Bluetooth connection to the speaker. Very easy and very simple, just like your standard Bluetooth speakers. So since you have a Bluetooth, you can also use this as your karaoke system. You can connect your phone, play the music that you want, and you can connect a mic over here and simply sing along with it. Now, if you want that volume to be amplified into more speakers, you can just connect another speaker through the link output and you have more volume. Now, having a Bluetooth and pen drive facility is really a great option for dance class, for yoga instructors, for cafes, for restaurants and even for karaoke. So if you're using it for karaoke, you can just connect a mic over here, connect your device via Bluetooth and you can sing along. And if you want that volume to be amplified, just take a link output from here and you can connect more speakers also. So while these features like a Bluetooth and pen drive is already existing in a lot of Bluetooth speaker and even those party boom boxes, you would not get this kind of a raw power on like 310 watts with a 15 inch driver in those speakers. So having a pro audio speaker with these kind of features is really important. There is an SD card input which may or may not be used by a lot of people because SD cards are now mostly used only for cameras. For audio purposes, we use pen drive and Bluetooth mostly. This is also a great option for churches, temples, schools, colleges, if you have small venues where you do small birthday parties, if you're a venue owner where you want to provide a small system to your client. So this speaker ends up being useful for all these factors. Now, because of the wedge shape of the speaker, you can also use this as your stage monitor along with your big PA system. So that was the Studio Master Drive 15 AU. This also can be purchased in the 12 inch size or the 10 inch size, depending on your requirement. If you're looking for louder, punchy sounds, go for the 15 inch because the bass will be good through it. So for example, you have a dance class, you really need the power during the dance. And that's why 15 inch will be very important to you. But for other speech reasons, where you, your only purpose is when people are speaking on the mic, a 12 inch or a 10 inch will also do. So the driver size primarily depends on your usage. So the bigger driver size means it just has more bass. Otherwise, the power is same across all the three sizes. And if you still want more bass, you should add a subwoofer, which is again available in the drive series. So the final verdict is that the speaker really sounds good. It has good clarity on the highs, mids and even the lows. It's got very tight lows. We really did not record uh, the audio in a zoom recorder and show you because that won't really do justice of how the speaker sounds good in real. So usability wise, this speaker is really good for dance classes, yoga classes, colleges, schools other institution, churches, temples, and even your live sound system. So if you own a live sound rental company and you want a small speaker to be rented out for small birthday parties and uh, smaller events, this speaker becomes a great thing for that. The speaker is currently priced under 25,000 rupees. As of year 2022, the prices may change. The link to buy the speaker is in the description. Please do click that for the updated pricing as per the year. If you still have any queries, you can reach us out on a call and WhatsApp support and we can definitely help you out. So thank you for watching again. Subscribe to our channel for more product reviews and educational content. Until next week. Bye bye.